Okay, today we're going to do a simple hello world in C++. So, you can see I've got my uh, editor up here. Um, I've, I'm running Notepad++ here on a Windows 8 machine. You can use whatever you want. Um, I'm going to actually save my files into uh, my Dropbox. I created a directory called uh, Compu1, and that's where I'm going to put my stuff. So I'll just show you one thing here for those of you using um, Siglin on Windows. It should be pretty well the same for Linux or Mac, but for Sigwin and Windows, it's a little bit different. Hey, come on, start up. There we go. So what I want to do is I want to be able to change to this directory. If in Windows, if you click into this bar, you can see it's under C users, Ken, Dropbox, Compo Uno. Your directory will be different. Remember, in Sigwin, we need to go CD slash Sig Drive, and that's the root of your system. And then I'll need to go to users. Uh, and then whatever the username is on this machine, I have Ken, and then I'm going to switch to Compu Uno or Dropbox, Compu Uno. And now I can see I'm in that directory. Actually, the the path there shows that I'm in that directory. So let's go ahead and write our program here. And um, this is basically the way your standard program starts up for a C++ application using. I'm going to use I'm using namespace std. A lot of this looks like mumbo jumbo, but for now, let's just pretend it all makes sense. So here's your standard um, C++ skeleton program. I'm including IO stream, so I'll be able to use input and output. Uh, the using namespace std is standard, um, which just lets me know that I can use anything that's in uh, that uh, namespace. And let's see, I'm going to put C out hello world and L. And I'm going to save this. Now it's going to ask me where do I want to save it. Well, we already talked about that. I'm going to put it into uh, Cambauer, uh, Dropbox, Scompo Uno. And I'm going to call this, and you got to be careful. Here's the thing with this program is I need to save it as hello.cpp. And I'm going to say it's a CPP source file. Notice it changed it automatically to hello.h just because it assumed I was going to make a hello.h. So I'm letting it know it's a C++ source file. I'm calling it hello.cpp, which stands for C++, and I'm going to save it. Okay, you should notice over here in my Dropbox and my file directory, it's showing up as hello.cpp. Now, to run this, this is not Windows where you double click on the, the, the file. No, no, no. We're going to go over here. We're going to run G++ hello.cpp. And it's going to compile that program. And there it goes, it compiled. But it said nothing, Ken. Well, this is the case of no news is good good news. And uh, it didn't say anything, so that means everything worked. I'll actually run an ls command, which is the listing of files. And I can see I have two files in this directory, an a.exe and a hello.cpp. We can also see that over here. Again, we could run it with a double click. But then it's just going to disappear. If I do that, it, it doesn't know how to run it. So I'm going to run it like this. And look, lo and behold, from the command line, I can run the program. Notice there's a dot and then a, uh, a diagonal, a slash, and then a.exe on Windows to run the program. And it did indeed print out Hello World. On Mac and Linux, pretty well the same thing. Bring up your terminal, bring up your editor. From the terminal you do g++ hello.cpp. The only thing that's different on Mac and uh, Linux is instead of a.exe you're going to be typing uh, dot slash a dot out because that's the default uh, executable file created by the g++ compiler on Mac and Linux. And that's it. You've got hello world working. Bye!